about just doing research on companies that you're interested in, um, really prepping yourself that way. So if you know you're looking for opportunities in retail, you know, do some research around the competitors, um, how retailers are doing today. Um, if it's in banking or finance, do the same thing. You know, go online. I think that kind of gives you an edge when you come in knowing where you want to go and how you want to navigate through the fair and really kind of avoid hitting every company. As, as you know, it's probably not realistic that you'll be working at most of those companies as well. Um, and then I think the second part is really making sure your resume is up to date, uh, being clear about um, getting ready to speak to your resume. A lot of times you'll get questions around that. So I think um, looking at a few of those things, it kind of sets you up for success when you walk in the door. There's probably two ways in which you're gonna have to go about it. One is being very strategic and thinking about the companies in advance that you wanna speak with. Companies that you're really interested in, you need to look more into them and their industry. The best way to impress me at a career fair is to ask a question that is about my company or specifically about the program that shows me that you've done research. I would say on the flip side to that, you also as a student have to keep in mind that there are hundreds of employers at the career fair and you're probably not going to research all of them but there might be a company out there or a position out there that you have not considered, so be open to talking and trying new things when you're at the event. I would say get your rest the night before. If you want to be prepared, you need to be able to speak very clearly about what you've done. So if you're tired and you're worn out and you're stressed and you come up to an employer and you're all frazzled, that's not the best impression straight out the get-go. So in order to be prepared, make sure that you've done some interview training. Uh, I know that the campus offers mock interviews, so definitely go to those. Make sure that your resume is easy to read, that it's very clear in terms of quantitatively what you've done. So I wanna know how many organizations you've been involved with, how many people have you affected, what things did you change on campus, and it needs to be very specific to you. Um, I always suggest that students try to make it a tailored presentation for the interviewing, the company that they're interviewing with because you'll be able to find out, you know, what can I bring to the table to give to this company and oftentimes that puts you in a much more successful light than if you didn't.